Looks like the ETF is back at it again with some bullshit. Cease and desist of the Q Honey Badger pistol. Just released today, the ATF put out a cease and desist letter on the Honey Badger pistol made by Q. What the fuck? So what does that mean for you Honey Badger owners out there? Well, according to this letter, it looks like they want you to uh, take your upper receiver off your loader receiver, kind of separate them. You know, you can use your upper receiver on a different firearm. This whole thing seems like bullshit, and this is exactly where our country is headed. This is a big fucking deal. I don't know if you guys understand this, but this is the first step into what's to come. Now, I'm not going to sit here and spit out conspiracy theories because I'm not a conspiracy theorist. We all know what an SBR is. Under 16 inch barrel with a stock on it. Pretty simple. Well, the Honey Badger, like I said, has your pistol brace. So I'm sitting here flustered, confused as fuck as to why this is happening. Now, I can't imagine the kind of bullshit Kevin's going through over at Q and the rest of the Q team. You know, my heart goes out to him. I'm a huge fan of Q. And seeing this stuff happen to good companies in the community, we don't need this shit. You know, look at who's running for office. If you get the Harris-Biden administration in there, you're going to be seeing a lot more of this bullshit. So let's take a closer look at this letter. Q just put it up on their website. Let's see what it has to say. If you go to the Q homepage, just open up your browser, type in live Q or die. It'll take you right to it. First thing you're going to see when you open up the Q website, cease and desist of the Honey Badger pistol. Click on the link. It'll take you and it'll let you read this letter. Dear customer, on August 3rd, 2020, the ATF, blah, 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 bunch of commie bullshit, issued a formal cease and desist letter, notifying us that the ATF has taken the position that the Q Honey Badger pistol is a short-barreled rifle. That's bullshit. Regulated under the National Firearms Act, in response, Q has ceased all production of the Honey Badger pistol and submitted a comprehensive letter to ATF and the Department of Justice stating why they disagree with this classification. Additionally, we have provided recommendations on how to address the firearms already in circulation. Q is seeking solutions that best protect you, the individual, and Q's distribution network from falling out of compliance with ATF regulations and federal law. At this time, Q has not received any definitive guidance from the ATF. So now we move to the next part, and this is kind of where it explains for all the honey badger owners out there what they can do to take proactive preventative measures. Now, if this is the real deal and the ATF finds you in possession of one of these, that's a big no-no. You're looking up to a $10,000 fine and up to 10 years imprisonment. That's fucking insane. So here's what they have to say. Here's what it says. In the meantime, Q encourages possessors of the Honey Badger pistol to take these proactive measures until a resolution is reached between Q and the ATF. Complete one of the following. Remove the barreled upper receiver from the lower receiver and dedicate it as a replacement for another AR style pistol or registered short barrel rifle. Or option B, if you do not possess another AR style pistol or registered short barrel rifle, remove the barreled upper receiver from the lower receiver and temporarily transfer it out of your possession by, for example, transferring it to the dominion and control of another individual. Let's spit out some more options. Once the previous step is completed, you may file an ATF Form 1 to register the lower receiver as a short-barreled rifle. Upon Form 1 approval, the firearm may be reassembled. Get the fuck out of here. For all you people out there that own honey badgers, I am so sorry that you guys have to go through this because this is the definition of fucking bullshit. This isn't right. Failure to complete option A or option B could result in prosecution and is subject to a $10,000 fine and up to 10 years imprisonment. If you are concerned with the situation, as Q is, we urge you to contact the Department of Justice by using the below link. Now, on the second page, residents of Kentucky, Alabama, Kansas, South Carolina, Ohio 4th District, you guys have the option to uh, reach out to your congressional representatives to let them know what you think of the ATF's actions. I highly encourage you guys to do that. You know, at first thought, you may think one email, that ain't going to do shit. If we all pull together, we all email these fucking commies and say, hey, what you're doing isn't right and here's why, 
They're gonna listen sometime, they have to. We just gotta flood them with this shit. So there's the official statement. You know, um, I'm sure you agree with me, that is total bullshit. If you're in those states, I highly encourage you to send those emails. If you're not, there is a link on that form to uh, find your different congressional, whatever the fuck you wanna call them, dickheads. You know, things get uh, kinda gray area, kinda sketchy in the two-way world when you start messing around with pistol braces versus SBRs and whatnot. And in all honesty, it scares the shit out of me thinking about the future that we're headed into. Kevin, my heart goes out to you and the rest of the team at Q. My sincere apologies about this stuff. You know, this, is, this has got to be heartbreaking. Something you work so hard on developing is just being taken away from you. These honey badgers aren't in production anymore. They cease production right away. Now, if you have one of these, I can't tell you what to do. And I'm sure as hell not going to sit here and advise you what to do. You're a free American. We have our freedoms. I'm going to leave that up for you to decide. I won't ever tell you what to do. Whatever you think's best, more power to you. Stay free. Live, cure, or die. Guys, I want your opinion on this whole matter. I want you to flood the comments section. Let me know what you guys think. If this is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down there. Turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, I know I don't usually do videos like this, but this hit home with me. Reading this letter for the first time today, I'm sitting there thinking, you have got to be fucking kidding me. And I had to share this with you guys. So, as always, thank you for stopping in. Stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.